obviously uh, very, very excited about the win. Um, proud of our guys showing some resilience. Um, you know, we got down. Uh, you know, as a coach, you got to believe in your veterans, believe in your players. Uh, AJ, once again, has stepped up in, in a critical, critical situation, and he's delivered. You know, his numbers are not showing his development, yet I thought he really grew up today. Um, I thought we played a very, very physical team in DePaul. You can see their development as a team, and, you know, they haven't played in almost, you know, nine, ten months. They've only played two games. So I think you got to give their staff and their players a lot of credit you know, to come on the road to be that competitive and, you know, them there have the game won. Uh, but it was, you know, it showed some maturity on our behalf, being able to bounce back, A, from a loss on the road and, you know, being down three with 15, 16 seconds left on the clock. Uh, credit to the players being able to execute a game plan coming down the stretch. I thought both teams played hard. Both teams made some timely shots and we we're really fortunate to win. AJ, take us through your uh, game tying shot at the end of regulation. Uh, I mean, you know, we knew that Charlie Moore had a great chance of making both free throws because he's really a player. So we've been in this position before, down three, you know, need a, need a, um, a three to tie it up. And um, we ran a play, executed it really well, and I, we uh, got the shot off, got a clean look at it, and I delivered. AJ, um... I think this can go for you and also uh, if coach wants to as well, but um, what changed, like, because uh, before this game, uh, you were kind of, you were struggling a little bit as, as, far, as far as the media was talking about. And at one point, the media was talking about possibly even as uh, making a case that you probably shouldn't have even been starting. But what changed, what is it, is it just, the media was just completely off? What, what was it that flipped the switch for you today? Hold on, before he answers that, but well, well before he answers that, you know, what the media says about my program has nothing to do with the way my players will ever think. I am the head coach of this organization and I believe in my seniors. I believe in my juniors. What you guys say and what you feel about our players is really irrelevant. I appreciate your question and AJ can answer that the best he can, but it, it, none of you all pay me. None of you all are in charge of me. So I'm going to do what I know is right for my players. I think, I think it's a great question, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to answer that as part of what I'm doing with my program. Now, AJ, you roll with the best way you can. Reed, tough question, but be prepared for a big boy answer on that one, baby. Uh, you know, I really, just like Coach said, we don't really try to let the outside noise really get to us. Um, I, I, I really don't know. That's what my boy does. He shoots. I, I, I don't, I, tonight. Yeah, I don't really know how to answer that one. I, how nice was it to be rewarded today with you know, a really good performance, scoring, making shots, sort of being in the rhythm of the offense like you were? Uh, it was awesome. It just lets me know that, you know, what we're doing off the court or like not um, during practice and what we're doing, you know, workout wise is working and paying off. So. You know, we just got to keep keep up with it and keep the routine. I think the biggest thing and, you know, making shots and everything, just having the routine of getting in the gym every day and just getting a lot of reps up. Ed, after the game at Butler where A.J. obviously struggles, uh, what do you say to him? Uh, obviously, he's, he's still on uh, campus. Uh, I'm curious what you guys did on Christmas Day. Do you just grab him uh, at one point and say, you know, you obviously need him to be successful this year? Well, we had a great meal Christmas Eve, you know, and we didn't we didn't talk about the game. I think, especially some of those veteran players, uh, they know what they got to do. You know, they, we got in the gym on Christmas morning. Um, we did a lot of shooting, um, and some of it's rhythm, uh, some of it's confidence, some of it is just you know we wasn't fortunate where the ball fell in. But what I want our players to always know, regardless of what your number says, I believe in the person, not the number. Now, defensively, teams may look at you differently and try to play you strategically different. But I've seen enough in practice where you give those guys freedom and you give them confidence and you instill, you instill that confidence in them, you get these results. So um, hopefully he continues to make shots for us because he's a, he's, a, he's a major weapon and we're going to need him if we're going to be competitive in the Big East. He's a junior. He's played a lot of games. Um, and, and again, he made some big shots in his three years here and he continues to make them in. 
you know, when the game's on the line, he's somebody we look to go to. Far behind defensively, and, and that's the one thing since we've been here at Providence, we've been able to at least hang our hat on. We may not be the prettiest offensive team in the country, but for the most part, we try to grind you and defend you and, you know, take away the three. So we're still a work in progress, and we just happened to turn it up that second overtime and made some, you know, some good adjustments. I give the staff a lot of credit for some of the things that we've been able to do. And, uh, you know, we, we, we got some key stops when we needed and some key rebounds. Uh, you know, what y'all are not talking about was just a couple of strips that I think A.J. had. I yeah. mean, really, really, really big time turnovers. And then the strip at the end of the first overtime that forced the second overtime. So, um, good, good team win. I, I was, um, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing and hopefully we can continue to get better.